Greetings, viewers. Good morning. I'm going to show you something here that I am going to be working on. It's a painting. Um, it's a painting over an old painting. Yeah, bit of a shame. I'll show you. ago I did this. It's called Mexican Flatfish. Uh, I was inspired by a painting down in Mexico, down in Cabo San Lucas, and so I thought I could recreate that, and I made this, and um, no one wanted it. I couldn't sell it for love and your money. I'm not a marketer. I'm just a creator. So these beautiful funny fish are on this great big canvas, and 10 years later I need a great big canvas to do my Highland Cow painting. So this poor thing's going to get painted white and I'm going to embark on a painting that's been in my head for a long time. A little Highland cow with a, like a furry face. I just love those guys. And I've gone to a more of a Mexican, not Mexican, I had a Mexican theme, but I'm now going for more of a farmhouse country look in my home. All right, here goes Operation Obliterate. Anyone want this canvas? Going once, going twice, going three times. All right, here we go. Here you go, here I go. Say goodbye to your little friend. Oh, poor things. Nobody likes you. I had no callers, I had no takers. Oh no. Who would do such a thing? I don't know who would do such a thing. This is a bucket of cloud white from Rona. The Benjamin Moore color. The eggshell should do the job. Just need a nice soft background for my delightful Highland cow that I am crazy for. All right, this is hard to do with uh, the one hand, so I'm going to turn you off and get this done. Help, help, we're going under. Help us, help us, we're going under. Nope, too late, sorry. Be quiet if you don't like it. Don't look, just don't. Oh, help, 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 help. I'll help you. Maybe it's just easier if you don't watch, all right? And shut up. Don't watch. Hey. Well, that's one coat. That there. That there's one coat. I'm going to have to do another one. And we'll see where that takes us. Well, that's it for today. I just wanted to do a slow start. I was a little reluctant to do this. To jump in. A little nervous about it. So... Anyway, the fish have been submerged. The fish are sleeping with the fishies. Bottom of the ocean, and that is white and ready to go tomorrow. Maybe, maybe I'll just well, turn it that way, of course, and just sketch this long-horned highland cow. It's snowing outside. Just a tranquil, quiet day. And if you're gonna try painting, I like it quiet. I like quietness so I can paint. So I've set myself up in my lady room. There's a bit of room here and I've got the brightness coming in from the south. And I'm gonna just do the background today. I'm just gonna dabble at that. And just smoosh around the edges with sort of a light shading of, I don't know, a grayish beige-ish kind of background. And then I'll later I'll sketch my cow in the middle. Well, so far this is my background. It's just mottled and kind of soft shades of Scottish Highland cow skin. Yeah, it's already different from what I imagined. That's the way my paintings go. You think of something, you put it on there, and it's absolutely different from brain to hand. Then I softened some of it. 
with this little brush and a bit of water down white. I softened that, softened it up here. Oh, it's just such a nice, look at the depth. There's texture on this though, lots of texture. Look at this texture. And look at this texture up here, whoa. And that was achieved back in the day when I first prepped this and did the fish on it. That was some Alex Plus caulking dap that I put on with like a spatula kind of a brushy, you know, like a, a drywall scrapery thing. And I just kind of put it all over and that's, that gave me the texture. Look how I've kind of softened this whole thing. This is the beginning of the sketch. Horns, hair, horns. It's just a very faint sketch. Concentrating on that big nose. I don't know, folks. And so we begin. There's a little dip dab paint, a little strange nose color. I am not good at this game. Or filming. All right. I can't. I can't film myself doing this. I need to concentrate. You guys are gonna have to just get it blow by blow later. Hey guys, this is where I'm at. I'm in the middle of I don't know nostrils, eyes, ears, horns. This thing looks like a little multicolored buffalo right now. Oh. It's just the trickiest thing ever, especially when you have no talent, but just a lot of passion. So, yeah, maybe, sh maybe she'll come together in an amateurish, cartoon-like, but cute fashion. That's my hope. Okay, there's my little Bonnie Wee, Bonnie Wee Highland cattle baby. I'm gonna say goodnight to her for now. I'm, um, I'm tired. I had a concussion 10 days ago. That's an excuse. I just, my creative juices are, are drying up. There's a lot of tension trying to make this little nose cute. It's just really weird trying to create something from nothing. Okay, so I'll get back at it tomorrow when I'm full of energy. I'm going for it. It's freaking me out. I know what's needed. It's a cup of tea. <clears throat> Apparently a cup of tea is needed. Scary things are happening. So scary. Don't know what I'm doing. Help. Here's where we're at. I'm gonna do some highlighting, some blonde highlight hairs. I'm working on her. Still freaking out. No esta facile. Are you ready for the reveal? Boom. Cow done. Stress over. Would you look at the little bunum? Mwah. Look at that little face. Yeah. As you can see, I went and had some fun over here with her highlights, her glowing highlights. I fixed everything 17 times. Her hair, her nose, her that guy, those whiskers, all of that. So she looks like she's standing up to her udders in a snowdrift, but it's just um, meant to fade away into nothingness over here. Just like the front of the cow. And her name's my Bonnie, because she's uh, Scottish, you know? Bonnie Scotland. My Bonnie lies over the ocean. Highland cattle, she's a Highland cow. She's a female, her name's Bonnie. Yeah, I'll show you, I put her name on the back. They all get a name. That's a 2020 and I think I am kind of done with painting. It's just too hard and too stressful. But this was a special one that was in my mind for a long time and I didn't think she'd look like this at all. 
thought she'd be, you know, the long, black and white, skinny something. But this is who came out to visit us, little Bonnie. Look at her little twinkly eyes. She almost looks alive in there. She can barely see out of that one. And you know, you know what that's going to feel like. You know, if you've ever had fun with a cow. Like, let, a, let a little baby calf suck on your fingers, that's always fun. So yeah, she's going on the wall and I'm pleased. Phew.